Well, good afternoon to everyone. So delighted to be here today, to be with you today on this important occasion. My name is Delman Coates. I'm the senior pastor of Mount Enon Baptist Church in Clinton, Maryland, where I serve as the senior pastor. And I'm also the organizer of the Our Money Campaign. The Our Money Campaign seeks to educate the public, activists, and organizers about the core insights of modern monetary theory, which have been discussed earlier today. In 1966, Dr. King said that of all the forms of inequality, injustice in healthcare is the most shocking and inhuman because it often results in physical death. Underlying Dr. King's words is a fundamental moral stance that access to something as essential and necessary to life as health care should not be contingent upon one's ability to pay. It is callous, it is cruel to deny health care to anyone due to their inability to afford private insurance, particularly when we without question have the means and the ability to provide comprehensive health care to everyone as countless other countries do. We should do so because the stakes are too high. Tens of thousands of uninsured and underinsured Americans die every year just to satisfy the greed of private health insurance companies. During COVID, the COVID-19 pandemic alone, it is estimated that over 300,000 Americans died of COVID that would not have if we had a system that provided universal coverage. This is a matter of life and death. That is why we are here today. But it is also a question of protecting the public from the financial predation and exploitation of the health insurance industry. Under the current private system, we pay significantly more than any other country in the world for significantly less and worse health outcomes. And it is an insult to our democratic principles of government that we still have a health care system that is of, by, and for the private health insurance industry. We must put an end to this utterly shameful state of affairs that puts profits over people and attempts at every turn to distract the public by falsely claiming that Medicare for all is not in the financial best interests of the country. They keep telling us the lie that health care for all is unaffordable and that it would raise people's taxes. But our presence today shows that we see through their lies. Their lies won't work because every day all across America, activists, organizers, and ordinary people alike realize that our goal of establishing healthcare as a human right in the US can be achieved and responsibly paid for in the same way that we fund all other public priorities. For too long, whenever we have talked about healthcare for all, they have told us it can't be done, that it will cost too much. For too long, whenever we have demanded comprehensive, high quality health care for every U.S. citizen, they have told us, well, it's too expensive, that the numbers just don't add up. To that I say, if we have money for warfare, then we also have money for health care. And the insights provided by modern monetary theory let us know that, the, that that's the case, that our ability to spend is not limited by revenue, that we are only limited by two things, real resources and our public will. We have been told our entire lives that there was no money to attend to our most deeply held and brutally neglected public priorities. They tell us, we love to pay for quality public schools and free health care and address climate change, but there's not enough money to go around. But to these talking heads and their esteemed economic advisors, we declare that we see through their lives. We know that the U.S. government 
cannot run out of money any more than a carpenter can run out of inches or a scorekeeper can run out of points. The federal government of the United States of America has the power to responsibly create money and to do so on behalf of the American people. The predatory corporate and financial donor class has manipulated the debate around health care and has exploited our sense of dignity for too long. They try to make us think that public spending is some kind of handout. Meanwhile, they are the first ones standing at the counter with their hands out, demanding corporate subsidies and bailouts. We will no longer be misled. And that is why we are here today. We know from economist Stephanie Kelton that one of the principal drivers of long-term inflation is healthcare costs. And bringing down healthcare costs will in fact ease inflation, not accelerate it. And Medicare for all, she said, would help us to fight and not fuel inflation. The reason modern monetary theory is so important for those of us who care about single payer health care is because it removes the constraints that are typically used to limit our policy imagination. So we say to our critics that if we have money for bullets and bombs, then we also have money for the welfare of our bodies. If we can create money for tax cuts to the rich, don't tell us that we cannot create money for jobs, health care, and to address climate change. The challenge before us today is not finding the money. The issue is finding the public will. No one should have to die or go bankrupt because they get sick. No one should have to die or go bankrupt because they are in need of some critical medical procedure. We should not make decisions about health care of the American people based upon the profits it brings to insurers and drug companies. Free public health care is not about taking anything away from the American people. It is about giving something to the American people. It is about giving the American people hope. It is about giving the American people a better life, better opportunities, and better stability in the world where people fear becoming ill and they feel airborne viruses. Free public health care is about giving people hope at a time in their lives when they are at their greatest need. We need, we desperately need single payer health care, and we need it now. We need a free, adequately funded public health care system that is accessible to all, and we need it now. It is time for us to say to Washington, no more excuses. Say that with me, no more excuses. No longer will we permit them to allow big donors to dictate and determine their votes. No more excuses. No longer will we allow them to set the agenda for the American people. No more excuses. No longer will we allow those whose business model is profit to profit from public pain. No more excuses. We are here to put those who profit from our pain out of business. So we say to Congress and to this White House, now is your chance to be a part of the solution rather than a part of the problem. Now is the time to stand with the American people rather than working against the American people when it comes to health care. Because from now on, there will be no more excuses. Say that with me again. No more excuses. Medicare for all now. Thank you so much for having me.